Hello everybody, it's me Jones RMJ here. Montreal is quite a fascinating city in North America. Founded all the way back in 1642 by the French as a fur trade and commerce center, it has since grown to become the second largest city in Canada with a population of around 1.76 million in the city limits and around 4.1 million in the metropolitan area. But even with all that growth, a lot of the French culture has since stayed in the city, with around 70% of the population still speaking French as their main language. Naturally, as cities grow, the need for efficient mass transit arises, and Montreal responded with the construction of the Montreal Metro, which first opened in 1966. Since then, the system has grown to four lines and is the fourth busiest rapid transit system in North America. While it's overall a great system, it isn't quite perfect, as there are still several areas in Montreal that lack decent transit coverage. Thankfully, work has been ongoing on a project that aims to improve connectivity in these areas. This is Montreal's new $6.9 billion metro system. Before we begin, I make content on many different topics including gaming, architecture, urbanism, and more. So be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. First, let's quickly discuss the existing metro system in Montreal. The Montreal Metro first opened back in 1966. The system initially featured two lines with stations that featured brutalist architecture which was heavily inspired by the Paris Metro. The trains that operate on the system are very unique since they use tires and guideways instead of steel wheels and rails like you find in most other systems. The MPM-10 trains used on the system also feature open gangways, which isn't too common to find in North America. The system has since been expanded to four lines, and it currently ranks as the fourth busiest rapid transit system in North America, behind only New York City, Mexico City, and Toronto. The Montreal Metro is a great system that serves parts of the area well. However, it's not quite perfect. It currently doesn't have any direct connections to Montreal's airport, and it doesn't really serve the growing areas across the St. Lawrence River like Broussard, or in some of the other neighborhoods and suburbs further out from the city center. This is where the REM project comes in. The Rizeau Express Metropolitan, or REM, project is a light metro rapid transit system that aims to improve connectivity in the Montreal region. The project is expected to cost $6.9 billion and be fully completed by 2027. The system will feature one line with three branches and 26 stations. The line starts elevated in Reef Sud and crosses the St. Lawrence River on the Samuel D. Champlain Bridge where it dives underground in downtown Montreal with connections to the orange and green lines of the Montreal Metro. The line continues with a connection to the blue line of the Montreal Metro and then has three branches after Bois Frank Station. The first branch will terminate at Du Montagnier. The second branch will terminate at Sainte Anne de Bellevue. And finally, the third branch will terminate at Montreal's airport. The train cars for the system will be fully autonomous and run off of electricity via overhead wires. The trains will run in pairs connected with an open gangway and during busier hours can connect to another pair making a four car train set. Each two-car train set seats 64 passengers with a standing capacity of around 300. A four-car train set can carry a maximum of 780 people during rush hour. The trains will also feature Wi-Fi, air conditioning, and heated floors. The new stations for the project also look very nice. They feature a simple yet elegant design with wood accents in the roof and an abundance of natural light. They also feature full-size platform screen doors, which are commonly found on many metro systems in Asia. Coming back to the layout of the system, the first phase which runs from Zoo to Central Station opened to the public on July 31st, 2023. Phase 2, which will connect Central Station to the Du Montagnier branch and the Sainte Anne de Bellevue branch will open sometime in the fourth quarter of 2024. And finally, Phase 3, which includes the branch to Montreal's airport, will open sometime in 2027. In addition to all of this, several transit-oriented developments have been or will be constructed at several of the stations to improve walkability and allow for less car dependency. Overall, the REM project is shaping up to be a pretty good transit project. The stations have a nice simple yet modern and elegant design, every station will feature platform screen doors, the train cars are also very nice, and it will greatly improve connectivity in the Montreal area. I hope it is a sign of a renaissance of public transit in North America. 
be sure to let me know what you think of the REM project down in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.